Hi, I'm Amanda from The Hot Plate, and today we're getting steamy in the kitchen making a gluten-free blackberry pound cake. July is gluten-free month on The Hot Plate, and we're really excited about this. We've got lots of friends and family that have a gluten intolerance, so this is all about healthy and fun substitutions. So to talk a little bit about our pound cake today, we have our two flour alternatives. Now, Bob's Red Mill is one of my favorite brands because they make not only a gluten flour, but they have a huge variety of gluten-free products. So here we've got our gluten-free flour and you wanna make sure that you look for this label. It's that symbol that makes sure that it's certified and that you are definitely not gonna have any sickness from contamination. Now, my secret ingredient for this pound cake is coconut flour. And while you wouldn't think it, it's got a sweet and light flavor that is so not coconutty, but it means we can use a lot less sugar in this recipe. So here we've got our coconut flour and you can see it's got a nice soft texture. Now the last thing we have to talk about is xanthan gum. Now this is a thickening agent commonly used with gluten-free flours. If your flour already has it, then feel free to exclude it from this recipe. Some of our other ingredients include two-thirds of a cup of milk, one cup of granulated sugar plus three teaspoons, one and a third cup of blackberries, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now we've got one teaspoon of xanthan gum, one teaspoon of baking powder, and a pinch of coarse sea salt, three large eggs, one cup of our gluten-free flour, and one cup of our gluten-free coconut flour. We've got three quarters of a cup of canola oil and a little bit of orange juice to sweeten it up. Now we're gonna get started by mashing our blackberries together. Now, I love marbling, as you can tell from my outfit, and there is nothing more delicious than fresh blackberries and pound cake. It is just divine. So, for our blackberries, you could pulse them to make it totally smooth. Instead, we're just gonna be mashing them together because those coarse pieces of blackberry are gonna give us tons of texture in our pound cake. So in goes our blackberries. And then we just need those three teaspoons of sugar. So we're gonna sprinkle them on. The sugar also helps to mash them up because it's a little bit coarse. So we're just using a fork and we're just coarsely mashing these berries. Perfect, so once you've got them nice and coarsely mashed, we're gonna set them aside and then we're gonna work on the rest of our pound cake. Next up we have our dry ingredients. Now I like to make sure that I run them through a fine mesh sieve just to make sure they're thoroughly combined and really soft so we've broken up all the lumps. So in goes our flour and our coconut flour. You can already smell it, it smells amazing. And then this is our xanthan gum, our baking powder, and our coarse sea salt. And we're just gonna go ahead and tap it through the sieve. And the reason we're doing that is we are gonna have such soft ingredients and they're gonna combine into our wet ones so nicely and evenly. So out goes our sieve and then we're left with this beautiful soft flour. Now all we have to do is mix together our wet ingredients, combine it all together and we're ready to start baking our blackberry pound cake. So the last step are our wet ingredients and to start we've got our canola oil, which we'll add in there. And then to that we'll add in that one cup of granulated sugar, our vanilla, and a nice squeeze of this beautiful fresh orange juice. One about three tablespoons altogether. So about half of a really juicy orange. So once we have those all in, we're gonna start to whisk. And we wanna get it all combined so that we have all the sugar mixed in there. Then we're gonna be adding in our eggs one at a time, making sure to beat, to beat between each addition. So crack that in there. And then our next one. And then finally the last one. Perfect. Beat that one in there. The eggs just help to bind everything together and we're getting this nice yellow hue which is gonna help give our cake that golden color. Mm. All right, so we've got everything mixed in. We've got this nice smooth golden colored wet ingredient mixture and now it's time to start slowly mixing in our milk. Now, I'm using a lactose-free cow's milk. You could also use a rice milk as long as it's certified gluten-free or an almond milk. 
if you're a little, if you need a dairy-free option. That's also available. So just while we're stirring, we're gonna start mixing in a little bit. So we wanna add just a little bit at a time, helping to make sure they incorporate properly. And we wanna mix until it's combined, but not overly mixed, because that's gonna prevent our pound cake from rising. So our mixture is all done, and now we have our loaf tin. So you can do one loaf tin about this size. You can use a glass one, a ceramic one, or you can even bake individual cupcakes using this. Now, again, I have a non-stick spray here, so if you are, you need dairy-free, this will work. Give it a little spritz. And you'll notice that I actually have a little tin foil in here. This could also be parchment paper, but this is gonna help us lift at our pound cake afterwards. It's a great, great, great tip. So for our wet mixture here, our dough for the pound cake, we're gonna add half into here. And then we're gonna add our blue, our blackberry mixture. And we're gonna do this because this is what's gonna help create that marbling effect. So this is gonna go in, and then in goes the rest of this mixture, just right on top. So I've got a knife now, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag it in a little twisty pattern right through our pound cake, and that's what's gonna help create this marbling. So we're gonna just stick it in, and just give it a little drag through the pound cake, and this is gonna help make sure that our blackberry mixture is marbling. Perfect. Pull it out. And now our blackberry is ready to bake. So we've got the oven preheated to 350 degrees for our pound cake, and this is gonna bake for about 30 minutes until a toothpick comes out clean. You might have a little blackberry on there, but the cake should be nice and crumbly. So our pound cake is all done, and it has been cooling for about 15 minutes on the rack. I like a little warm pound cake. And now we can just peel back these layers of tinfoil we had, and you can see that beautiful strip of that blackberry that we added, and that is what is gonna give us that marbling effect. All right, now it's time to try it. So we're gonna just cut off a nice little bit of the end here. Whoops, there we go. Oh, look at that. I love the end bit, because I like when it's a little bit crunchy. And we've got that beautiful line in our pound cake, and it looks so moist and delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it is sweet, but it's light. It's not a heavy pound cake. This is like a good quick bread tea time cake, and it is sweet and delicious. And it doesn't have a strong coconut flavor, even though we use that gluten-free coconut flour. Thanks so much for checking out The Hot Plate. Make sure to check out this and all of our other episodes and recipes at thehotplate.com and updates on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash thehotplate.